Hello guys, in this video you will see how to create this dashboard in Google Ocker Studio. So let's get started. As you can see I already made copy of this first page. I'm gonna go to that second page. Let's click on that second page and as you can see we have now blank page here. But we already have that background color that we have on that first page. As you can see here. So how can you modify that background color? You need to go to this theme and layout button. Let's click on that one. And you are able now to choose some of the themes that are available in Google Ocker Studio. You can choose any of them, but the important thing is to customize them. If you click on this customize button, you will see another window. And now you are able to change your background color. Now we are able to see this report background option. If I click on this, I'm gonna be able to change color. For example, as you can see, I'm using this color. If I click, for example, on this one, it will change my background color. Of course, I would like to keep that one that I already have. So I'm gonna remove that color that I have chosen. Now let's start creating our dashboard. First, I'm gonna create my header. So for that I'm gonna need text box. To add a text box you have option text. You can click on that one and just place it on your report. Now let's change our font size. Let's put it to be 48. And also I'm gonna use this font style. Also I'm gonna make that bold and I'm gonna later change my color. Let me just first type my name. It will be called product analysis. So let's place it here on top. And now I'm gonna change my color. Let me choose some other color. For example, let's put this one. No, I'm gonna change that one. Let's use this color. I think this is the same like on this. No, it's different one. So let me let me just see which color it is okay it is this one let's change it let's use this one and that's it now i'm gonna insert another text box here but this one will be different let's type this and then I'm gonna change my font let's put it for example to be like this and everything else could stay the same I think let me just resize this and I'm gonna place it right here below my title let me make this bigger for example I think this will be better That's perfect. Now I'm gonna insert line below this header. So let's click on line and let's let's place it here. Let me see if I need to change something, maybe thickness. I'm gonna put three. And now we are done with our header. Now let's proceed. So let's check what else we have in this report here. As you can see we already created our header and now I'm gonna also insert this line here and I could insert KPIs on this left side. So let's first start with line and then I'm gonna insert those images and also those cards. Let's go back to our second page. Actually I'm gonna copy this line and just paste it here and let's just change that line. It will be something like this. I think this should be perfect. So now let's insert those KPIs. First I'm gonna insert images. So let's click on this image button here. And I'm gonna choose this option upload from computer. I already have some images downloaded so let's insert this 
last one and as you can see this is our first image first let me mention that you could use for example this side for those images if you if you go and choose some for example some icon you can just click on that and you have option to download it you have a lot of options here so you can pick something that you would like to see in your report so let's go back to our report and now I'm gonna resize this image now I'm gonna copy all these images from this report just not to waste our time copy all of them and then I'm gonna paste them right here let's resize this first one okay that should be nice and now I'm gonna insert my cards how you can do that you can go to this add a chart option and then we can see this scorecard section let's click on scorecard and let's place it here now we will need to change style for that scorecard let's for example put this compact number option and also let's put zero decimal places I'm gonna also change this font later but let me first do this let's place it here on center and let me just check font size for this core card in this case it's this number okay and I'm gonna use this color for them okay let's do that let's go back to style let's change font color let's use this one and also let's put this okay that's perfect For this first KPI we will be using number of orders. So let's use this order ID column, let's place it here in matrix and I'm gonna instead of count distinct I'm gonna use count. And now I'm able to see total number of orders. So let's change that name, number of orders. That should be fine and now we have our first scorecard created now let's copy that one actually I'm gonna copy all of them from here also to not to waste our time This should be fine and now let's continue with creating this report now we will create charts so let's start first as we can see here we will first start with this down chart so we will present total sales for each region so let's do that first i'm gonna go to this add a chart option i'm gonna use this donor chart let's place it somewhere here of course later we can resize everything let's change values instead of this order id in this dimension column i'm gonna provide the region so let's use this column let's put it here and instead of this order id i'm gonna put sales so we will be able to see total sales for each of these regions now let's change those colors let's go to style and instead of this dimension values option i'm gonna pick this one single color now this looks nice so i will leave it like this let's resize this a bit and also i'm gonna need to put title for each of these charts that i create so let's copy this one let's paste it here also i'm gonna place it here above let's make that bold and maybe resize it I think this should be nice let me see on that first dashboard yes it's pretty much the same I just need to change that title so it will be product sales by region
that's fine. And now let's go back to style and scroll down to find this add a border shadow option and I'm gonna click on that also just to have that shadow around my chart. After we do this we can proceed to next chart. So let's see which chart is the next one. It will be actually product sales by subcategory as we can see here. So I'm gonna create this bar chart. Let's go back to that second page and then click on this add a chart option. Let's choose bar chart and let's place it here. I'm gonna also resize this one and the first one of course. Let's click on this style option, let's also add that border shadow and I'm gonna also need to remove those grid lines. Let's find that option. Now we are able to see grid color and I'm gonna put this transparent. Now we don't have those grid lines anymore. Actually instead of this bar chart I'm gonna use stacked bar chart because we will have multiple values as you can see here. So now let's insert those values. First dimension is this one here. Instead of region, I'm gonna put subcategory. So let's put subcategory here. I'm gonna keep this ship mode here and I'm gonna also keep these sales. Now we can see on this chart that we have a lot of subcategories here, so I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna go to this style option and here we can choose number of bars that we would like to see. You can see that the default value here is 100, but I would like to see only first 10 values. So let's click on that one. It looks much better and we are presenting top 10 values. Next thing I would like to do is to change those colors here. Now let's scroll down. Let's try this single color option. It doesn't look nice, so let me change it to see how it will look like. I think we could keep this option. Now let's copy this title. Let's paste it here and I'm gonna place it above my chart. And now let me change the name. And now we are able to see that we also created the second chart. We have one more chart to create, it will be a line chart. So let's go to this add a chart option. We have also time series, this time we will be using line chart, let's find it here. This is line chart, so let's click on that. Let's place it here below. I'm gonna also resize it. And now that should be it. Now we need to change our values. Instead of region, as you can see here, we will also put subcategory. Let's place it here and we will leave this or we could change this sales option. We will instead of sales let's put quantity. So we will be able to see total quantity for each of these subcategories. Now let's change style of that chart. So let's click on this style button. And instead of this color, I'm gonna choose, for example, this one. Let's make this three. And then let me see, I also need to remove those grid lines. So in this grid section, you have option grid color and just put it transparent. And now we are able to see that we don't have those grid lines anymore. Next thing I would like to do is also to add that border shadow as I already did on previous charts. So let's click on this border shadow and also that chart will have that nice shadow. Let's click one more time and I'm gonna do only one more thing. In this sort section, instead of this quantity, I'm gonna put subcategory. And now that's it. The last thing I will need to do is to create also title for that chart. Let me just resize it a bit. And let's place it above this chart. Let's change 
the title okay then that's it so we have our dashboard completed this was everything for this video thanks for watching